time. Hey there, uh, just a quick video here on how to create a Google group. Google groups are great for creating distribution lists or uh, setting up a super simple shared inbox. Um, there are some limitations though, and so at the end I'm gonna show you how to connect your Google group to Keeping to give it um, some new superpowers. But first, let's um, create a Google group. So just go to groups.google.com. Over here on the left, you'll see a button that says Create Group, and then we'll create the group name, and this should be, we're gonna call this the IT group, and it's gonna automatically give you the group email address at your, the domain of your company. If you want, you can give it a description, not necessary. Um, step two here is to choose your privacy settings, depending on who is gonna see the emails that come into this group. If you're gonna be sharing this group with the outside world, you wanna push this over to anyone on the web, and then probably the entire organization is gonna to wanna to be able to view the emails in the group. Hit next, right here you can Put in uh, who are the group members here by typing in uh, email addresses and automatically add folks or invite them to the group. And if you want, you can create a welcome message and this directly add members switch will allow you to just push folks in without even inviting them. So you can uh, just add their email addresses and they'll be automatically in the group. Click that, click create group. Give it a few seconds here and go to the group and that's it. So this is our new IT group. Um, again, Google Groups were created, I don't know, 20 or 30 years ago as a way to create sort of a message board inside a company. A lot of folks are using Google Groups today to create a distribution list, but if you need to do more with your Google Groups, such as collaborate on your shared inbox, you might want to connect it to a tool like Keeping. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to do that and why you might want to do so. So if you go to app.keeping.com and go over to mailboxes, you'll see a little red button here that says add mailbox. Mailbox, I'm going to type IT at Cardiff electric.co that's our company here we'll have our two members i'm going to add the mail and then i'm going to use setup forwarding to add this to uh, my mailbox i'm going to click copy i'm going to go back over to my google group here i'm going to add as a new member and so i'm going to come over to these group settings i want to make sure that people outside the organization can be members so i want to turn this switch to on say changes all right, and I'm gonna go back to my groups, go back to my new IT group here, and click on members. We're gonna add a member. We'll put in this email address we just copied from the keeping settings, click add members. And now that we've got keeping um, as a member, we're gonna to wanna to turn off the distribution to other members in the group because keeping's gonna handle the distribution from here. Um, so now we'll go back over to our keeping inbox hit complete um, and that's it so now this email address has been connected to keeping um, and when I go over to my Gmail I'm gonna see it over here on the left hand side as a new mailbox and here it says added been added to IT and so in this in this account here you see that we've got four shared mailboxes we've got our IT mailbox our sales mailbox and you know once you connect a shared mailbox to keeping whether it's Google group or a Google workspace account you get all sorts of new superpowers. So instead of a regular Google group where um, you can simply view a list of messages, um, you get shared notes, um, an activity log, um, as well as the ability to assign and prioritize incoming emails with your, with your team. So use a Google group if you just need a simple distribution list, but if you need to do a bit more, um, such as actually share an email account and collaborate on the emails in there, I recommend something like Keeping. Um, you can read more about how this works over at www.keeping.com um, and again it's a 14-day free trial if you want to give it a try it's super easy to get set up